Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic for today is how to identify and describe triangles according to sides and angles. Let's read the situation. Mrs. Cruz showed a big triangle to her class. She asked her pupils to divide it into small triangles of different sizes by tracing the broken lines inside the big triangles. Look at how she divided it. Can you follow Mrs. Cruz's instruction? Let's try. So ito yung big triangle na gustong ipadivide ni Mrs. Cruz sa kanyang mga estudyante. Itatrace lang nila itong mga broken lines para makabuo ng another or ng small triangles. Can you name the triangles? So yung mga triangles na atin nakikita inside this big triangle ay may mga pangalan. So let's find out kung ano bang klase or type ng triangle ang ating nakikita dito sa figure. Triangle, so we already know that triangles has three uh, sides and three angles. Therefore, triangles can be classified according to the length of their sides and the measurement of their angles. Let's first discuss the types of triangles according to sides. So, this triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. So, ano kaya natin nasabi na itong triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle? So, let's use a ruler para masukat natin yung measurement ng kanyang side. So, ang line segment AB or yung side AB ay may katumbas na measurement na 2 inches. Okay, next. Ang line segment BC naman ay may katumbas din na measurement na 2 inches. And the line segment AC also measures 2 inches. Therefore, we can say the triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle because it has 3 equal sides. Diba? Minasure natin yung mga sides ng triangle ABC and we found out na lahat sila ay equivalent sa 2 inches. Another type of triangles according to sides is an isosceles triangle. So how can we say that this triangle DEF is an isosceles triangle? So again, using a ruler, we're going to measure the sides of this triangle. So, the line segment DE measures 2.5 inches. How about the line segment EF? Okay, so as you can see, it also measures 2.5 inches. And kung i-compare natin yung measurement ng dalawang sides na ito, dito sa ating pang third side, kita naman na mas malaki ang sukat ng dalawang sides na ito. Therefore, triangle DEF is an isosceles triangle because it has two equal sides. At tandaan, kapag isosceles, dapat may dalawang equal sides. Another type of triangles according to sides is escaline triangle. So, how can we say that triangle GHI is escaline triangle? So again, using a ruler, we're going to measure the sides of this triangle. So let's start with line segment GI. Okay, so line segment GI measures 1.5 inches. Next is the line segment HI. Okay, so using a ruler, the line segment HI measures 1.25 inches. How about the line segment GH? So, ano kaya ang sukat ng line segment GH? So, line segment GH measures 2.25 inches. So, ano ngayon na napansin nyo doon sa mga measurement ng sides ng iskalin triangle na ito? 
Okay, so based sa ating pagsusukat, each Canadian triangle has no equal sides. Okay, again, remember that a uh, each Canadian triangle has no equal sides. We already know the three types of triangles according to the measurement of its sides, and these are uh, equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene triangle. So let's now proceed on the types of triangles according to the measurement of its angles. So, tingnan nyo itong ating triangle. So what can you say about this triangle? Okay, so this triangle is a right triangle. So, paano natin nasabi na ang triangle JKL ay right triangle? Dahil it has one right angle. So, pag sinabing one right angle, it measures 90 degrees. So, ito yung ating isang right angle, yung may palater L. Kung naalala nyo yung different kinds of angle, right angle exactly measures 90 degrees. So, basta ang triangle, meron siyang isang right, uh, one right angle, this is a right triangle. Next, triangle MNO. So, triangle MNO is an acute triangle. So, paano natin nasabi na this is an acute triangle? So, triangle MNO is an acute triangle because it has three acute angles which measures less than 90 degrees. So, again, ang acute angle dapat mas mababa siya sa 90 degrees. So, ang measurement ng angle M is 80 degrees which is an acute angle. Ang measurement naman ng angle ng or angle O is 30 degrees and the measurement of angle N is 70 degrees. So lahat sila ay less than 90 degrees. At kapag dapat inad natin tong sum ng mga angles, dapat yan ay equal sa 180 degrees. So 70 degrees plus 30 degrees is 100 degrees plus 80 degrees that is 180 degrees. So this is an acute triangle. Okay, next type of triangle according to the measurement of its angle is an obtuse triangle. So again, kung naalala nyo pa ang definition ng obtuse angle, it measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So why did we say that uh, triangle RPQ is an obtuse triangle? Because it has one obtuse angle measuring more than 90 degrees but it's not less than 180 degrees. So, asan yung angle na yun? Itong angle Q which measures 130 degrees. Again, dapat ang measurement ng lahat ng angles sa triangle ay 180 degrees. So, kung ito ay 130 degrees, so angle P is 30 degrees and angle R is 20 degrees. And that is equivalent to 180 degrees. So, therefore, this triangle is an obtuse triangle. Always remember that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. Of this activity, we're going to determine if the statement is true or false. So, the first statement is, right triangle has one right angle. Is it true or false? So, ang right triangle daw ay laging may isang right angle. So, the correct answer is, yes, it is true. The triangle has all equal sides. Is it true or false? So, ang iska rin triangle daw ay lahat ng sides ay equal. So, the answer here is false. Dahil ang iskalin triangle has no equal sides. An equilateral triangle has no equal sides. Is it true or false? So, ang sagot dito is false. Dahil ang equilateral triangle has three equal sides. From the word itself, equilateral which means equal sides. Equi means equal and lateral means sides. And it is an isosceles triangle has two equal sides. Is it true or false? So the answer here is 
true. Natandaan ng isosceles triangle has two equal sides. An obtuse triangle has an obtuse angle which measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Is it true or false? So the answer here is true. So an obtuse triangle ay meron siyang isang obtuse angle which measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.